Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Surface Pen and in this video I will show you how to use this pen with Microsoft Surface Go 3 tablet. So I will show you 14 best features. The first feature is about using this back button as a shortcut to open different apps. For example, if I press this back button two times like this it will open the microsoft one note and here i can start taking my notes okay so here you can see now for example if i want to use the highlighter i can select the highlighter from here and i can highlight my handwriting now the next thing is you can also use it for creating different shapes so here i select this automatic shapes option and i just create this circle so here you can see it will make it neat the next thing is you can also use your surface pen for screen clipping so for example i just select this insert option i select this screen clipping option and now whatever i have on my screen i will just select it and it will automatically insert into my notes for example i have this anatomy part i will just select it like this and once i finish the selection it will automatically go into my notes so here you can see this part is now available in my notes the next feature is about pdf annotations so you can use your surface pen for pdf annotations so i will open this app name of the app is microsoft journal you can download it from microsoft store now here you can just open uh, one journal and then here what you can do just select this plus icon once you select it here you see this option of insert a pdf just select it once you select it here you can open your pdf for example i select this pdf and i will import it now here you can see it will import this pdf and here i can annotate this pdf using different tools so here you can see i can use this writing tool i can write on my pdf with my microsoft pen i can also use the highlighter option for example if i want to use the highlighter i can use the eraser option and then i can also use this scale option for example if i want to draw some kind of line okay so i will just use this if you want you can also add pages to your pdf as well so for example i have different pages now if i want to add a page i select this three dots option from here so here i just select these three dots now what i will do i select this option of insert page above so just select it once you select here you can see a new page has been added so this is my new page and here i can do all my annotations i can write here anything i can use the highlighter everything i can do over here so once you finish with your annotations you can also export your work so what you have to do again select these three dots on the side so here are the three dots just select it and here you see this option of export just select it you can export one page or you can export everything so i will just export all so here you can see you can export it to one note or you can export as pdf the next feature is about using your surface pen for web capture and then you can mark it up as well so for example i will open microsoft edge web browser here i will search heart anatomy and then here you see this first result i will open it now for example i want to uh, capture this part so what i will do i will press and hold the side button of my surface pen and i will tap on my screen now it will open a small window and here you see this option of web capture just select it once you select it here you can see it is asking me to capture the area so i will start capturing this part okay with the text and with this image like that so here you can see i just select it now what i can do is here it is showing the option of mark up capture just select it once you select it it will bring over here like that and then you can use your pen to point out anything for example if you want to highlight something if you want to write okay so you can do all your markup here the next feature is about using your microsoft surface pen as a laser pointer in powerpoint presentations for example i will open this file and then i will start presenting it now here you can see at the bottom we have this icon just select it once you select this pen icon the first 
option is about laser pointer just select it once you select it now you can use your pen as a laser pointer to highlight anything in your presentation for example i want to highlight like this i can do it if i want to use like this pointer i can also use so here you can see this is how i can use now you can also use it as a pen okay so i just select it and i select this pen option now you can write anything in your presentation so for example if you want to mention something if you want to point out something you can use it as a pen the next feature is about using your surface pen to highlight anything on a website for example i open the microsoft edge web browser and i open this website now here on this website i have this text so I want to select it. Now what I will do, I will press and hold this side button and I start selecting the text. So I will just do it like this and here you can see I can start selecting the text like this. And if I want to be more faster, I will just go down like this. Okay. And once you leave it like this, you leave your pen button. So here it will open a window for you. So here you can copy your text. Okay. Then you can use it as a translation. You can uh, do the translation. You can print it. You can web capture it. You can add to collections and you can do a lot of things here. The next feature is about using your surface pen for handwriting to text option. For example, I will open my internet browser and here I want to type any website okay I will just use my surface pen I will just tap on this URL bar and here it will open a small window now here I can write the name of the website for example I want to write here Google okay so I will just write here Google so now once I write here you can see it is giving me the option of google.com it converted into the text now if I just want to open it I just select this arrow from here and it will open the website for me there are other things you can also do for example i just select it again it will open this window now here i want to write anything for example i will write here yahoo okay so i will just write here yahoo so here you can see it converted into the text now i want to remove it so i will just use this strike out option i will just put a line on top of this text so it will remove it for me. The next thing is you can also use different corrections. For example, I will write here pen. Okay, so P E and then I give space and I will write N. So here you can see there is a space between E and N, but I want to join them. So what I will do, I will just create this symbol like this. And here you can see they are both joined. And now, for example, if I want to strike out, if I want to remove, I will just do it like this and it will get removed. The next feature is about using your surface pen for screenshot or screen snipping. So what I will do, for example, I open this website. Now I want to take a screenshot of this screen. Now what I will do is I will just use this back button and I just press it only one time. So I will just press it like this. It will open the snipping tool. I will select the area that I want to capture. So for example, I want to capture this part. So here you can see I just select it and here it is available. Now I will just open this snipping tool and it will open the same part. Okay. And then I will just close this website and I will maximize it. Now here you can see at the bottom, I have different tools. I can write on it okay i can use the highlighter so here is the highlighter i can highlight anything on my capture the next feature is about using your surface pen for chat gpt so i will open the chat gpt okay and then here is the send a message option i will use my surface pen and i will just tap and it will open a window here i can give any command using my pen so i will just write here brain okay so I will just write here like this and you can see it convert it into the text. Then I will send this command and then chat GPT will start responding. 
so here you can see it start uh, writing and then uh, later I can use it the next feature is about using surface pen in Microsoft Excel so I will open the Excel and here you can see I have this worksheet and here you see this option of draw just select it once you select it here you have different pen tools so I just select this tool and now you can draw on your Excel you can write on your sheet okay so for example if you want to highlight something you can also use the highlighter so here you can see there is a highlighter tool also available the next feature is about using your surface pen for screen recording so for example you want to record a lecture for example I open this OneNote file and then you want to screen record now you just select this snipping tool and then you select this video option and here you select new once you select this new option first of all you have to select the area so I want to select this area for screen recording and then you start uh, you select this start option so once you select this start option after this countdown your recording will start and then you can record your lecture you can write here anything okay so here you can see whatever you do inside this part it will be record and once you finish you can just stop it and then later you can also share it so here is the share option just select it and you can share it using different platforms the next feature is about using a surface pen for sticky notes so I will just select this sticky notes it will open a new note and here I can use my surface pen to write here okay so you can see I can write here anything using my surface pen the next thing that I want to mention here is you can use this back side of your surface pen as eraser so for example I open uh, this Microsoft OneNote and I will uh, write here with my pen now I want to erase it I can use the back side okay I just erase it okay so here you can see I can easily erase whatever I write the next feature is about pen pressure sensitive so for example I open Microsoft OneNote and then for example if I want to write if I just write normally so this is how it looks like okay without any pressure but if I put more pressure okay so you can see it will be more bold so it is pressure sensitive so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel Thank you very much.